Hi guys, I got a little job coming and uh, I wasn't going to bother to video it but then I thought well why not because I don't know how it'll work out and what the problems will be. First of all if I had a CNC machine I'd be laughing <laughs> when I'm laughing now but not not because of, uh, of that. Um, yeah buddy locally he's given me his rifle furniture stock and he wants a substantial butt plate and he said aluminum is going to be good he's happy with that and he and I agreed that he wants probably about a quarter inch added so a little dig around in my stock such as it is and uh, I've found this piece which I've already cut down I've got a very fine I've just replaced my bandsaw blade it's a far too fine tooth really which gives a heck of a good finish <laughs> but anyway we've cut down to close to size we've got the corners at the top here we've got to get rid of the corners and there's going to be quite a bit of handwork involved and I've got to drill that and fix it to the butt for the final sizing and then it'll be a case of working down through different uh, grit wheels and uh, polishing etc and then the idea here excuse me hand holding again but it's a lot quicker at the moment I might set the tripod up later um, what I thought I'd do here is approximately I'll do it I'll work it out as close as I can I'll try and work out something close to close to this radius or the bulk of it so I can get rid of some of that material a bit quicker and once I'm down closer to the amount needed I so I think it's all going to be virtually uh, handwork all right I'll come back to this at some point uh, when I'm quite a bit further ahead, just so you can see, hopefully, an end result that's halfway useful. One or two folks may have seen this uh, very beaten up rotary table before. All this stuff was what I, what I made and added, because I got it as a very basic unit. It's very tore up, got bits missing. Anyway, it's first time of trying it on the mill here. So I've just machined up a rough piece of inch. I didn't want to use a long piece, it's just a stub. Put a 7 uh, uh spigot on it and just popped it in the chuck. I'm not after super accuracy, but it's a good fit down the middle. And that gets me pretty much on centre if I need that. Now I'm going to try and work out a radius. Uh, so I can, that's getting reflection there, so I can get the uh, worst of the material off here. So we'll play with that and try and clean up a bit with the mill. Okay, handheld again, sorry. Um, I'll be honest, this is not the easiest thing on the planet. Um, this... Um, I actually I've got it locked at the moment. This is fairly stiff to turn, but I've set up a sort of approximation here, and I've got the piece locked down the best I can. I'm not looking to get rid of if the line is visible. I'm not reckoning to get rid of every bit to the line. I'm just wanting to get rid of the corners. So it's not terribly critical. But I must confess I haven't tried setting this up on the mill before for this job. Other people will probably be a lot uh, more experienced at it than I am. In fact, I don't think I've used this rotary table much at all. Not since I converted it. So anyway, we'll see what happens, yeah? <laughs> you never know. Of course, I only used this uh, rotary table in the past for simple division. Um, First time I say trying it on here, and this is this and the worm drive is very stiff, but it's 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 making a cut there, 
So I'm just going to persevere. I say we're only really removing stock. The finish is unimportant. That's why I'm using a roughing. I'm only taking very tiny cuts. See how jerky it is, it's terrible. That's one of these days I'll buy a ready made rotary table. <laughs> Let's try again. Yeah, so, <laughs> tedious, but we're getting a curve on it. See how we get on, I'll show you the finished result, because I'm reckoning to finish almost everything on this thing with filing and uh, handwork, really. That's why I said earlier, I want to see NC. Well, there you are, it's a <laughs> sort of result. Um, obviously, you've got marks, because I was using the roughing it's actually followed fairly well but there's a word for this setup here it's called a lash up <laughs> it's a absolute lash up clamps and stuff that I could manage I've got four T slots but they never seem to be in the right place so I've got the material removed I mean I could possibly have set up the bandsaw and nipped off the corners but this was an experiment really uh, the basic thing here is getting rid of the, the main amount of stock, leave myself a guideline and uh, then we've got to drill it, fit it to the butt and then see what we've got left to take off. First time I've tried doing this, which I may have said, <laughs> it may be very obvious. <laughs> Just an update, <laughs> it doesn't look as I've done much does it? That was the bit I did on the uh, rotary table. Cuts down the side, took a long time. Uh, I've trimmed off a little bit of corner there. Screws are in temporary. I had to get that drilled and set into the stock there for accuracy so I can finish the final shaping which is going to be well basically by hand. Um, belt sander, just about any damn thing so I can get that down to near the final and then we start finishing and polishing and uh, get this dished out and shaped. Quite a lot to do, surprising really. Well it's quite a bit later I keep picking away at this each time I work on this it gets hot and I've got to cool it off. Um, we're getting fairly close to profile. Uh, got a little bit more to go and then I've got to start some finishing. And then the back side has got to be scalloped very slightly. I have to do that by hand, literally by hand I think. This square end is going to stay square because we're going to drill and tap that for a cap screw. And that's going to take a piece of half inch round bar. I've got to mill some flats on that. Um, so there'll be um, a butt hook slightly adjustable. And I'll move to the mill soon. Let me just get this uh, set up on the stock. Hang on a minute. Yeah, one, one thing I did, one thing I did have to do, I don't think there was an easier way out. Once I had drilled clearance and thread sizes for these wood screws, in order to check the fit as I go, I had to make two of these. These are basically 532 and 732. 
and these are to match what I drilled in the aluminum and in the butt so that goes I'll just put this on which I have to do I didn't make these quite long enough but it doesn't matter so I've got to get those into the uh, screw holes which are already threaded for the screws that's, uh, that's enough so we've got oh I'm getting out of frame again that side's almost complete over the top there is pretty well finished it's just just a little bit this side just about here that's what I've got left to go which isn't very much so I'm going to get finished working on that and then uh, next clip should be the mill I'm just setting up then to do the uh, flats on the butt hook right well, we're going to put a couple of flats on this piece of bar uh, I'm not quite sure how far down I'm going to go until I see whether I've got enough width. Um, once I've done this side then we'll flip the collet block and uh, set it to the same position in the vise. see the flat there but I'm going to go down far enough so that uh, this is going to be coming off the tail here uh, so I want a fairly broad flat but I want enough meat left in the thickness here to uh, take the cap screw and still have enough enough thickness to have some strength in it so we'll carry on with that and uh, get the flats done. Just putting a clearance hole in for the... Uh, oh I can't even see, there we are, <laughs> for the cap screw. Um, we'll get that through then I'll just... I won't bother to take the chuck out, I'll just put a half inch mill down there to cope with the uh, counterball. flats no bigger than they are because by the time I've counterboard I've got to keep enough meat there for the uh, cap screw to bear on so we'll set up a, a mill and just counterboard that Uh, 
320, which should take care of it. We'll just get the uh, Z axis up and check that. Drop this in. There we go. I like that. Alrighty. Now we've got to just finish a bit of the profile on this. It's all but finished. And we've got a drill and tap for the 8mm in here and then start shaping the rest of this piece. <laughs> oh, there's a lot to do. Well, there's a bit of a cheat here. It shouldn't be over critical, but the uh, saw cut I had at this end, and there was a little bit of plussage, fortunately. I've just run the mill across to uh, square that off. And I've used the old trick of a vice within a vice. It <laughs> doesn't have to be super accurate, I just want a decent flat face on there for the uh, butt hook to fit on. That's what I meant by the way, <laughs> vice within a vice. Uh, I've already got a centre hole in here so I can take it straight over to the drill press and put my uh, tapping drill through. Okay. <laughs> Well, I've been standing much too long doing all this butt plate and I haven't uh, shown all the boring belt sander work and other sanding and buffing and there is still some marking on the material from the finest grade sanding actually but uh, it's not really necessary to go to absolute mirror finish it's pretty shiny so that's what we have. Um, you followed the profile pretty well. I still got a bit of cleaning compound in places. I must wipe that off. So it's followed that pretty well. And then the the butt hook. Ideally, that would be a casting with a slight curve in it but the idea of that is that we've got an adjustment here so that the angle can be right for the armpit sorry about the floor again so by having that at the right angle it tucks under the armpit I did say to the guy did he want this ribbed he said no, which is fortunate, because <laughs> that would have been an extra game, putting uh, ribbing on there. Uh, so we'll see, hopefully he likes it. it. Took way too long. The trouble is, a lot of this sort of handwork is um, do a bit, check it, do a bit, check it. And in fact, periodically the whole piece gets so damn hot, I have to put in water to cool off. Anyway, there we are. I don't know what the next... Uh, project's going to be actually I've got two or three things in mind in fact the main thing I've got to do is to sort out my drill press the uh, motor tensioner lever is uh, disengaged somehow so I've got to take the top part of that to pieces anyway that's it for now just a little look at the uh, making of an aluminum butt plate <laughs> thanks for watching